Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jurtastic, and welcome back to another episode of Major League Roleplay on GTA 5 5M. Today is a different one for you, first of all. A little committee to policing saw somebody stuck in the highway, but this is where the episode takes place. You guys have been requesting a scene from A to Z, and there you go. This is going to be it from the traffic stop to the arrest, to the investigation, to even taking the guy to the medical sandy station. Pretty interesting scenario, I had to get love tab on my car. We're almost at 20K, Jarmy, let's get it rolling. Check that out real quick. Probably give him a ride if. Definitely can't have the dude running us out of the highway like that. All right. Let's go check it out. Bravo one, I'm gonna be out with a pedestrian. I was running on the side of the highway by 5024 Southbound Los Santos Freeway. It's gonna be white male, white t-shirt, uh, dark navy pants. No additionals needed. Got my walk. Howdy, sir. You doing all right there? Yes, sir. All right, can I have you step away from the shoulder? You're very close to it. Let's go by my car, actually. My bad, sir. All right, what's going on, man? Why you? I was going northbound, and I saw you uh, just run on the side of the highway, damn near very close to the vehicles, actually. What's going on? Why are you stranded? Yeah, I'm just stuck out here. Where's, where's your vehicle at? It actually got impounded, so I'm trying to run to the city to go get it back. Who, uh, want to get impounded today? No, it's been impounded for a little while. I just haven't had a chance to run and grab it. Usually my friends have been on to give me a ride and stuff. Okay. So you're trying to go to the city? Yeah. Is there, uh, anything on you illegal? I mean, I can give you a ride. That's not a problem. Anything illegal on you I need to know about? Uh -oh. No, sir. All right, I'm gonna have to do a soft pad down. I mean, I don't let people in my car without without doing that. So if you're cool with that, yeah. we're cool, you know. I'm fine with that. All right. Go ahead, face uh, face my vehicle real quick. Sorry, man, just can't be too careful right here. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, go ahead, man. Go to my uh, driver up uh, passenger door over there. I'm not going to run his name all that. I appreciate it, sir. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, if you know what I'm saying, and out of world terms, that's why it's important for you to log off or go to sleep where you want to start off, you know? Yeah. All right. Stand by. Bravo 1 County. I'm actually going to be giving this mail a ride. Uh, you going to be on 5024. Like I said, search him. Nothing on him. I'll be going to the Legion Square parking garage for him. All right, there you be. Oh, you need to go to impound lot, huh? Well, I, fortunately, I can't really. Oh, I'm fine. I can. I'm fine here. I can probably just have a friend come give me a chance ride when they have a chance. All right. I appreciate the ride. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day, officer. You too. Bravo one, Connie. Uh, dropped the individual off at the Legion Square garage. He's out of my car. I'm back tonight.
Oh, well, they're swerving in and out. He's he's lagging or spattering, which is fine, but. Bravo one, can I get a twenty eight one ready? What else? Go ahead. Two six Yankee Sierra Bravo four eight two. Two six Yankee Yankee Sierra Bravo four eight two. What else? I'm not getting a read back on that plate. Ten four. Bravo 1, uh, Connie, can you roll me additional my way, please? 2049 Southbound Sonora Freeway again. 2049 Southbound Sonora Freeway. We might have a possible uh, Stolo here. This car was also seen heading out of Palito Bay. I did not see him in the immediate drug area, but it was heading out of Palito Bay. Tango 62, what's your location? 2049 Sonora Way Southbound. I'm gonna check it one more time. I might even just code five. Seven, four, me show. Seven, six, seven. Nope. Zero forty four Bravo one direct. You uh, you need assistance on that car? Are you good with the uh, extra one responding? No, no, I can I can use one more. I got two occupied. Actually, three occupied here. Ten four seven seven. How you doing, sir? My name is Sheriff Nola of Blaine County Sheriff's Office. You know I'm pulling you over today? Uh, no, sir. Okay, before the grape seed turn, you switched completely almost in the, in the shoulder, then went back out. Any reason for that? I just got your hand off the steering wheel. What happened there, man? Uh, I was just, I was putting a cigarette in my mouth and I must have just wasn't paying attention. Okay, where are you coming from tonight? It's a solo, but uh, I'm not gonna jump into it right away. We're coming from uh, Polito. It'll be a little strategic. From Polito, huh? So what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing, Polito? Yeah, just hanging out, just enjoying the scenery. It's a nice town. Uh -huh. People just never go over there. Yeah, I was. Yeah, how you doing in the back? Doing good. How about you? Good. Are you uh, like an Uber or something? Why is he in the back? Ah, oh, I just prefer sitting in the back, man. Mm, okay, understandable. Driver's license, registration, insurance, please. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Um, Haven't I met you before, man? A guy with the green hair? Uh, have you? Maybe. Yeah, don't don't you have a bike sometimes, too? Oh, yeah, sometimes. But I sold that thing. Mm, okay. Unsafe. All right. She needs your driver's license, registration, insurance, please. But this car is uh, registered to you, I'm assuming, right? Or your friend or somebody. Ah, just let him pull his leg. Let's pull his leg a little bit. Next week, I'll be back tonight. Alright, I got your ID here. I got your insurance and registration. The registration for the car, please. Oh, the car? Oh, it, this isn't really my car. Okay, whose car is it? I don't know. You don't know? Just kind of kind of found it. Oh, kind of found it? Yeah. All right. Well, let's find out whose car it is together. Why don't you step out and come to the, my computer? We can look. We can look it up together. So we can return it to the rightful owner. Oh, get out! Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. Okay. What's What's the name on this ID right here? Uh, it should be uh, uh, uh I think it's uh, Winston Rockefeller. Uh, it should match. All right. 
All right, Mr. Rockefeller, why don't you go ahead and step out the car for me, man? Oh, see, you guys have a lot of cops over there. This car isn't mine. Um, I'm kind of worried that if I get like out of the car, I'm going to get arrested, you know? No, we can just find out whose car it is and go from there, you know what I mean? Not a big deal. What if, uh, can we do that while I'm sitting in the car? No, no, no. Because I, I, cause the owner doesn't know you have it, you know what I mean? Maybe he'll drive by, gets pissed at me, you know, like, yo, Sheriff, why are you letting people drive my car? You know how it is, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see how that's a bit limo. Yeah, um, yeah, but the nice thing, like, I got, like, every VIN number in, uh, in the state and the five, five, uh, neighboring states on my computer. So, like I said, we can sit in the front seat. You know, AC it up. I got a little IC for you. We can look it up together and see whose car it is and give him a call. I'm not. I'm trying to avoid a right. pursuit but, 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 but I promise I won't move while you go look it All up. right, man. I don't think you're getting me. I'm not really here negotiating with you. You need to step out the car, man. It's a law for order. So this is the last time I'm asking you to step out the car, sir. Now I got to go no love. Oh, now I got to um, switch. I don't, I don't think I can do that because if I step out, I'm just going to go to jail. So. Uh, how do you know... Break, 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 Bravo One there, taking off. Uh, it's gonna be a white four-door black car. Um, driver is has a white male, green hair. Passenger in the back is gonna be a white male, gray hair. Clothing is gonna be white, uh, sorry, black t-shirt in the front. I'm not sure what the uh, person in the back is wearing. Person in the black is wearing black pants with a white stripe and a uh, black hoodie. Our secondary call it out. 104 3051 southbound to North Freeway. We're on the. He just dropped the meth right there. He just dropped the meth on the overpass. Somebody go back right there and get it. He the does, they just dropped another one. Stay with, stay with the meth right there by, by the billboard sign back there. They just dropped another, uh, another bag of meth. Okay, Bravo One, I'm uh, soloing out 3045 Northbound Panorama Drive. THD, uh, uh, if you can uh, attach to this one, come on in. Delta 84, I'm secondary. Taking a left on Joshua. Oh shit. We'll be heading down Joshua Road, 3036. Come on towards Algonquin. So continuing. Westbound. Stand by. We might be trying to drop some more. Taking a right onto Algonquin for the 8th liquor. 3026 at the east. So continuing, just passed over Panorama. 3020. Oncoming lane of traffic. Back in correct lane. Heading towards Marina Drive. Go. Go. Ten four. Mets dropping. I have a notepad up in the front location. So in case you have no, don't drop any units. Uh, be near about a few months. Ten four. I think both locations. Uh, we got two deputies on them. He, this might be another location right here. I'm not sure. They might be trying to bail. Bailing. Foot bail. Foot bail. Got to be thirty ten. Thirty ten. Marina Drive. Dirt road. I'm going after the guy in the gray hair. Stay with the green hair. Try to keep it as realistic as possible. Okay, maybe we uh, can't go up there. But Bravo one ramped them at 3010, 3010 up the up the mountain. Has up. Don't move. Get on the ground. Golly. Alright. I got nine. I got nine with two. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got you. God damn, y'all didn't have to hit me with your Just car. Stay Just stay still. Bravo 1, we got another one, 1015. Uh, Both suspects, 1015. Uh, reduce signal God 100. Damn, yo, why'd, you, why'd you hit me with your damn car? Man, I know you guys are throwing drugs out the car, running everywhere, stolen car. I'm not gonna go in the bushes with you and play Vietnam 3 here, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> they could put them in the back what, of my car, sir. What fucking drugs are you talking about, man? Okay. Selling drugs? Uh, did you buy? Are, are you hurt? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna need to. Yeah, my, my yeah. fucking. Bravo one CR44. Did you? Were you able to get anything off the street? Ten four still looking, but as of right now, I have up to uh, four, uh, four, three, four, uh, four bags a week. Ten four. Yo, uh. Hey, Sixty two, I picked up two. Did you, uh, Tango 6 to research him? 10 4, yeah, nothing on him. So, why are you selling weed out the car, man? Was it you or your buddy in the front? We, we, saw, we saw both locations, man. We're not stupid. Man, uh, Ooh, I have no man. idea what you're talking one about. One by Yellow Jack. I mean, I have my dash cam, one, man. One by Yellow Jack and one, uh, uh by, uh, off right? the ramp. I have no words to say about that one, man. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be and will be used against the court of law. You have the right attorney the if you can't afford one to set a center to provide you under the court's expense, all right? Down Panorama Drive. I hear you. So that would be like a slight right. You feel like anything is broken at all, or are you up, good? Uh, two pouches of marijuana right there. My feel hurt. They hurt. I don't know if anything's broken, but shit, that, that hurt bad. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to stand by. A negative. Six traffic, three, three, you, sir, do can only be against you the court of law. You are to turn it. If you can't afford to turn it, will be pointed to you by the state. Do you understand? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, uh, sheriff. Yes, sir. Just found uh, some baggies in his uh, pants. Yeah, how, many, uh, how many baggies? Se seven baggies. Yeah. And uh, he had $183 worth of uh, uh, cash on him. Okay. So, um,. So the six baggies that we found so far that you guys threw out by Yellow Jack and by the bill, uh, by the off ramp, who threw those out your window? You or your buddy? Because if you don't, uh, uh, I did it. So you did it. Yep. So your, your buddy's innocent. He had nothing to do with the car or anything like that. Nope. He's, he's just, all innocent. He just he, he just can't he just can't afford a gym membership, so he decided to run up the hill and uh, practice his tri triathlon over here. That's why he was running away from us right now. I guess so, but I did everything. It's all on me. Okay. Well, I mean, he ran, and he's in a stolen car with you, and you. we've had so much time but from the time that you Don't admitted it was a stolen thing, car right? to the time you took off that he could have been like, yo, I don't want anything to do with this, man. I'm out of here. But he didn't, right? So, But regardless, of his action's not yours. So I'm pretty sure this fine deputy right here, Reggie, your rights, told you what it is. So you're taking accountability for all the bags that we found. Yes, sir. I'll take it for all of them. Okay. All right. So I'll even take a cap. Okay, man. All right. Oh yeah, there's. All right, just hit the confiscation sheet up, and I'll go take that guy to jail. I'm sorry to hear you. It's like a siren going off. Do you hear it, or is that just me? Uh, think it's just you. I was saying, just um, just fill the confiscation sheet for the weed you found, um, and I'll I'll take that guy in my car to jail. Okay, for sure. Um, what's what's his name? So I can put it on. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm about to find out right now. Let's go. Rockefeller. Oh. My name is uh, Winston. Rock. Sir, what's your first and last name? My name is Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson. All right. All right. Larry Johnson. There it is. Probably one gotta be ten fifteen. Uh, I got 110, 15, 1076 first to Sandy Station, then I'm going to go to uh, process him. Hey, uh, Sheriff. Yes, sir. Hey, so just quick question. The uh, the baggies, that's the marijuana package, correct? Yeah, so what Gotcha. What we do, if you know what I mean, is you got there's a weight, there's a scale in your right. trunk. You just got to open a trunk and see exactly how many grams it is. Gotcha. And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't really under get the uh, first half of why you had him stopped or anything like that. I know it was a stolen vehicle. So he was um, so he was failing to maintain lanes. He went in the shoulder. Um, he also left an area, a drug area, but I didn't see him in the immediate area. So I was kind of going uh, back. I said, okay, then I see this guy. I'm failing to maintain lanes outside of Grapeseed. And, and he flat out admitted to me that he just found this car. He doesn't know who it is. And then, you know, we were being very passive trying to negotiate him coming out and just kind of basically in other words telling them you know you know what's happening here but he he chose to take off stand by for bravo one so that's what we got and, uh, is your guy is was he the driver no he's he's a back passenger gotcha so you have the passenger i have the driver yes sir gotcha 
Yes, sir. All right, I gotta get him to. I I I I bumped him with my car up there. Um, for sure. I gotta get him to uh, Sandy Medical first, and then process him. All right, sounds good. All Thanks, right. sir. Yes, sir. Bravo one, Sierra forty four, go. Uh, that was a total of six bags of uh, weed, sir. Ten four, I believe uh, Mr. Day is doing that. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy to uh, to the station right now and um, process him. Ten four. So, you want to talk, man? You've been Grand Rise, you know, you have the right to remain silent, you already know all that stuff, but... So, uh, you want to talk why you ran out the car? If the weed is not yours, you didn't steal the car, why, why'd you run out the car? I got nervous, man. I knew I was in the car. I got nervous. But, you know, but, you know, when I was selling your boy, and your boy admitted that the car was stolen, or, in other words, not his, there was about a... I'd say two, three minutes before he took off where you could have just said, you know what, I don't want nothing to do with this, bro. Let me get out of the car right now. And, you know, you would have got the car and... Or you, or it could have where when he stopped, you could have just stayed in the car like, listen, here's my hands up. I'm not doing anything. Hey, man, I... I to be Sounds honest, man, I had, I had some things in my pocket too that I threw out. I had about two, two, two or three grams I threw out the okay, window. Okay, so you are admitting it through something out the window. Perfect. I, Ching -ching. I, I had some on me too. I threw it out the window. He may Perf have threw some out. Perfect. He admitted it. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, I love I, it. If I would have stopped you, I would have searched me and, and I've been in a predicament just like this. Bro, it's, I, I can't tell you you wouldn't have because every cop is different and have their own discretion, but the OG cops have been doing this for a while. Man, I'm not going to take you to jail for fucking three grams of weed, man. I'm going to probably sign and release you. It's weed, man. Like, you know, like if you if you got more than three, five, six, maybe. But it's three grams, man. It's like a blunt and a half. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I may have done it if it was just you. But since, since you had like all seven, eight cops rolled up, I got nervous. You know, you know how it goes. Well, I mean, you take off. That's what happens, man. All right. So I'm going to get you in here. They're going to check you out. And then, um, and then we'll go, uh, We'll go process you, all right? All right. You can walk or you need me to get you like a wheelchair or something? If you have a wheelchair, that'll be good. All right, just hang on here while I... Yo, Larry. No, not you, Larry. There's another Larry in here. Y'all grab him a wheelchair, all right? All right. All right, have a seat. All right, let me wheel you in here. They gotta take a few x-rays, wrap you up. All that good jazz. All right. Tango 62, show me on the tail, Evan. 30433. Uh, so, um, 8, he was running on foot. Uh, I can't kind of sideways hit him. Uh, in my eyes, it was about, no, let's say, 10, maybe 15 miles an hour. But I guess the physics in this world sometimes are weird. He kind of flew a far distance, so that's what we got. Um, he's complaining. You said your wrist, right? Uh, it's my wrist. Okay, he's complaining of his ribs. Um, I think he might have hit a rock or a stone on the ground when he fell, so. 